Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message forum on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. Welcome back, everybody, to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, email us. I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll send you out a free Bible. Free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. If you like what we're doing or you just want to check us out for a few weeks, you won't go wrong, especially if you love dreams and visions about the end times, because that's a lot of what we do here right now. Okay. Today, everybody, I want to share a rapture dream with you. This dream is from Lori. Lori goes on to say here, I was standing outside and there were other people standing outside that I did not know. I looked up to the sky and I saw a bright light. The light continued to open up and get bigger and bigger, brighter and brighter. I could also hear angels singing. The singing increased in volume as the sky continued to open. Words can't describe the singing. It was like nothing I've ever heard before. It was so incredibly beautiful, I pointed up at the sky and began hollering ecstatically. It's Jesus! It's Jesus! It's the rapture! But as the words were leaving my mouth, I was already looking down at the earth from the outer atmosphere. End of the dream. Awesome dream there, Lori. Now, this dream is pretty much cut and dry, rapture dream. Okay, but here's what's really interesting about it. She says that she heard the angels singing. You sure it was the angels? Or was it the saints that were coming back here to the earth to receive their new bodies? You know, the, this is a big question. Are the angels here to help us with the rapture event? Or is this something that Jesus can carry out on his own? You know, will it work out in a certain way where Jesus just shows up with all the saints? And Jesus is so powerful because he's God. He can cause all their bodies to come up to meet the saints or the spirits of the saints go down to the ground, however that happens. The Bible just simply says that the dead in Christ shall rise first. So it could happen where the bodies are taken up, formed, and the spirits will meet their bodies in the air. Or the spirits go down to the ground, however that works, and they'll come up out of the ground. And then those beings are caught up to the clouds. Okay, and then what she said here, as the words were leaving my mouth, I was already looking down from the earth, from the outer atmosphere. 
So evidently there was no need for an angel to carry her up into the outer atmosphere. Okay. You know, the Bible talks about what we will be like. And even Jesus said that, that we will be like the angels at the resurrection. When was the last time you saw angels carrying other angels to different locations? Have you ever seen that? No. Okay. So does that mean angels will carry us to the sky? Don't know. Okay. You know, this is such a great question because I know Lazarus was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The Bible says that. Okay. So will we be assisted by these angels? I guess we're going to find out. Once again, not a big issue to figure out. When the rapture takes place, the rapture takes place. And however it works out is however it works out. Okay. I'm not really hung up on any of that stuff. <laughs> so I'm saying this because she said she heard the angels singing. Now, was it the angels that were singing? Or was it all the saints returning to receive their immortal bodies? All those who have died in Christ? Those who are about to be resurrected before we receive our mortal bodies at the rapture resurrection. For the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we who are alive and remain shall meet them in the air. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. Did she actually hear the voices of all the saints singing? Now that would make sense to me. Friends, I got good news for you. The time's almost at hand. We're about to go home and rapture resurrection. It's almost time to leave, which means the time window is now closing for you to build up your eternal rewards in heaven that you will receive at the Bema Seat Judgment. Rewards that will dictate how you and your family will live forever. So are you out there preaching the saving grace gospel of Jesus Christ? 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 You need to be out there in the streets, you need to be knocking on doors, you need to be speaking to large crowds, you need to be talking to everybody everywhere you go. Have you been doing that? I would say probably most of you have not. And that's okay. Because many of you probably didn't know this, God has probably called you to be a seed sower and not a waterer that does all those things I just mentioned on a big scale. In 1 Corinthians 3, 7-9, it talks about those who sow the seeds and those who water the seeds. It says that both of them have one purpose and each will be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. So the seed sower and the water are co-workers together on the same project. The same project that will reward them their eternal rewards. So are you a part of this one project? It doesn't matter if you're the sower or the water. Just get involved in the project. Question is now, do you want a lot of rewards or do you want a little? Do you want to plant a whole farm or just plant some pottery plants hanging off your window? Or maybe something in the middle? It's up to you. Either way, whatever you want to do here at Feed My Sheep Today, we can make it happen for you in a big way because we already have the infrastructure in place. Over the years, we have built a huge network of waterers, which are your Christian missionaries, all over the world. These missionaries are preaching the right gospel. They're doing all the right things. They are all established. They are all established with us. They are all mobile and they move all around their country. Everything's ready to go. All they need is just seed. So no matter what size seed you sow here, it is immediately spread out into all those high impact watering areas, the best fertile ground where nothing will be wasted, where you will see the maximum results of the growth of the body of Christ. And what our missionaries will do exactly is they will be purchasing and distributing KJV English Bibles so the people that can't read English and will also buy and distribute Bibles in their own native languages. And we will be distributing those Bibles for free to those who come to the belief in the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And those people will come to that belief through the preaching from the missionary and the missionary's team and also through audio-visual presentations that will also be presented at those times that help explain the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ and the gift of salvation that came with it. On top of all this, we will also be bringing food, water, blankets, medical supplies, all the humanitarian relief aid that we will need to help the people in these hard to reach areas. We're not going into the cities and all that stuff, everybody. We're going into those forgotten places where nobody wants to help these poor people who barely have enough money to put an extra shirt on their back. 
we come into these areas and we try to help these people as much as we can before the preaching begins and that's just the right thing to do on top of all this feed my sheep today also supports orphanages in many different countries throughout the world you will be able to feed children give them food clothing education shoes hygiene products provide them beds and much much more so there is so much going on right now in all the different facets of feed my sheep today so when you sow your seed you can be rest assured that great things will be generated from it so all of you who have given before please we need your help right now all you people who have never given before this is what you do you go to our website feedmysheeptoday.org link is below this is a very user-friendly website just choose how you want to give you can give by paypal credit card bank draft click on the amount you want to give or enter a custom amount or just simply send your gift in the mail you want to make a real big difference over time then would you please consider joining our monthly sustainer program you could change the world with just ten dollars a month that will purchase three new bibles for three new believers every month or perhaps you want to do more that will be greatly welcomed any amount is so greatly appreciated here and any of you out there that want to support the orphanages please even consider giving a hundred dollars a month because that amount will purchase a whole new bed for an orphan this includes the frame the mattress the sheets the blankets the pillows everything just go to feedmysheeptoday.org and everything you need is right there and while you're there check out the pictures check out the videos check out the articles check out everything and folks don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel where you can keep track of everything that's going on with the funding that comes into this ministry you can change the world in a godly way starting with feed my sheep today Thank you, Jesus. Feed my sheep today. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for your much needed ongoing support for Christian missions worldwide. We could not do what we do if it wasn't for you. Okay? Things are happening all over the world through Feed My Sheep Today Christian Missions. Many people are getting saved, receiving humanitarian relief aid. They're receiving the hope and love of Jesus Christ. They get saved. They get sealed in the body of Christ. And then they and then they also receive mandatory relief aid. So they get the spiritual love and the physical love from Christians like me and you. And our missionaries are working with us. So when you give, not only are you giving so that people will receive the word of God, get a free Bible, but they're also getting food, hygiene products, and everything else like that blankets whatever they need okay you're making a huge difference there widows are getting fed orphans are getting fed orphanages are being sustained all because of you there's a lot of things happening here at feeding my sheep today and you're gonna see all the rewards of all this work at the BMC judgment because you invest your money wisely so thank you all so much for you much needed support it's greatly needed right now please make a difference today then she goes on to say here there was nothing like she's ever seen before it was so beautiful so incredibly beautiful she pointed up to this guy began hollering and saying is jesus is jesus it's the rapture and as the words came out of her mouth she was transported to heaven wow and she said as a door of heavens as the sky continued to open more and more and more into the heavens the sound got louder and louder and louder. It got brighter and brighter and brighter. And the singing got louder and louder and louder. So what are we seeing here? Bigger the opening, which means more light will pass through, more sound will pass through. <laughs> Pretty simple there. Okay. And it was a progression. As it got bigger, more sound passed through, more light passed through. So that makes sense to me. And that's why she said the singing increased in volume as the sky continued to open. Wow. Awesome dream. Awesome dream. Thank you so much, Lori, for sharing your dream here. Everybody, please let us know what you guys think about this dream. Okay? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. So may God bless you all. And hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen.